No mic. Oh, is that why? <laughs> I didn't know it wasn't coming from yours. Oh, see, and I, that's why actually I didn't I had it up too. I should have checked. <laughs> I had no clue. Shit. Well, that's a great one for the well, archives. Nobody told us because I seen somebody join, but nobody said. Yeah. <laughs> well, for anyone watching on YouTube, this is where the audio kicks in. Are we Everything doing? we said before, you missed. And so did we. <laughs> so uh yeah well i guess we'll do a couple more minutes since what time is it anyways oh it's almost oh yeah it's about that time it is about that time plus i was gonna say we gotta do something real quick after this uh we finish this episode so wow uh this episode is basically scrapped anyway yeah. that's great Ooh, there you go i can hear it yeah yeah that's uh yeah, so i wasn't paying attention either i thought either. my my uh usually i'll turn it down all the time so I no i get you down. i should have always i always should double check i forget because i turn it off when we do uh the video so you can't hear us on the video <laughs> but yeah maybe uh that's not the best thing because that's probably i know that's not the first time that happened i think that's the longest that's ever happened that's like 30 minutes without this another thing yeah Oh well. I, I guess I'm just gonna upload this as a video with no audio. like try to read our lips good luck <laughs> Oh, uh, what should we talk about, I guess, for the next, I don't know, how much longer should we make this one last? That's, oh, man, that's a long time. Yeah, a few more minutes. We could do, uh... Well, what should we talk about? Uh, uh oh, um... We did mostly video games. I guess we could talk about everything we talked about for a second. Yeah. We covered just... video games, Goose Game, Game Pass. Yeah. Uh, Joker and Deadpool r-rated movies what good video games came out this year not being part of the video game scene too much holy shit i miss <laughs> everything on this video that's <laughs> fucking great that's fine at least now we know the video works better <laughs> well yeah at least the quality's up so sorry and apologies this for being the last cast of the year this is pretty typical so hopefully fine. next year we're a little more on the ball and paying attention and more hopefully next year more people come by we're trying to make these more consistent time and schedule wise. We've been doing them every Sunday except for last Sunday, which was oh yeah, Christmas we were, Sunday. Yeah, we were basically, just kind of taking a break after yeah, that. We took a break for that, and we had talked about that on stream as well. Um, the Witcher came out. That was doing pretty good. I guess we never did. We didn't discuss that, even though it was the opening. Video. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, I still haven't checked it out yet. I want to. I I, I never played the video game. Either, I didn't either. So. Yeah, it was. Uh, my uh, friend had described it to me. As not the video game, but the show is like after I'd even started watching, it's like this is supposedly supposed to be the new Game of Thrones kind of thing, just like in tone and style. <laughs> say, but I don't know. You it, can't do Game of Thrones because they they went uh, like they went you know extravagant with all that. I, do, I was very impressed with Game of Thrones. All I've never watched it. I just saying that like you know with their big worlds and everything. This one does actually not very seem, big. I don't know. This one like. Is, I guess like scenery wise. Yeah, that's why I mean like more decent. scenery just wise. But like this, this one, I don't think they're gonna go. I don't like think they got that, the money. Right. Yeah, for that's it, I said they haven't got the. Uh, I, they it's just got gonna... like the same kind of stylistic feel, but once again, like I think there's maybe a couple of scenes with big, big comparable war scenes. The other problem though is, like I said, is I wasn't that impressed with Game of Thrones. I never watched scenes watched either I watched because, the last because like episode. even their big fight scenes, like <laughs> even their a lot of their big fight scenes, a lot of it's CGI in, yeah. and a lot of it's like so like in the first two seasons or so, there's a couple big scenes, like one or two where there's like a big fight scene where there's actual people fighting, and you know it's not like animated, uh, ghouly white things or whatever, yeah. you know the the various different bullshits. Uh, but basically I'm just like, 
I, I thought Game of Thrones was pretty good, but not like the, it's it's no Lord of the Rings. You know what I mean? Yeah, Lord, Lord of, the of the Rings, Rings stands on its I own. I can't wait obviously. till that comes out. That TV show. That's I'll I'm be watching for. that one. It's so funny that now, like even above movies, like I'm more excited for, to see some TV shows that are coming out, like The Mandalorian, the new Lord of the Rings shows. I I just still say that. I mean, there's so much in this Cimmerian that they should just adapt it. Is there? It could make a whole movie c- trilogy or octology. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's got all kinds of in there. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be. Yeah, I can't wait to check out those, and then. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, which, so you you like The Witcher then? It was yeah. pretty good. It's not like any better or worse than Game of Thrones. It's got a little different tint to it because it's got like more monsters. involved with magic. Yeah, like he, there, there is mo- it is monsters too. But I guess there were. Well, just... I thought that's the whole thing of him, wasn't he? Like a monster. It, and then it he is, goes on and there and... it is, and there is in the show. But it feels like the story plot and a lot of the other stuff going on is more important than the monsters necessarily like they're a big part still like that's like his premise is like he hunts monsters and that's where you find him on a lot of the the journeys and adventures but it really ties into this overarching like country war thing which still is tied into magic and like much weird stuff which is like i said why why people are drawing that parallel and conclusion i guess between i honestly feel like they're quite different in many ways but Hmm. not like too crazily different either so um it's almost twelve fifty seven. we got a couple minutes in at least yeah of talking uh we're gonna let you guys go because unfortunately even though you couldn't hear us uh we spent the last 30 minutes on this so that's <laughs> fine yeah but hopefully we'll see you guys next year <laughs> yeah we'll see you guys next year hopefully uh next sunday catch us again at a similar time on sunday uh all things bearing the same hope Is it close enough? You can hear us. That's the important part. Anyways, dude, new mutants. I'm hyped. I'm super hyped for that. That was a really good trailer. Yeah, pretty excited for it as well. Said um, we covered some of it like right. Before. We always do that. We we talk about stuff right before we even start this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, we talked about uh that it was exciting that this is probably the only trailer I've been excited for. Um, yeah, I know for X Men, right? That's what we were saying. Yeah, it definitely like even all the other X Men, like well, maybe not the only one, but the one I've been most excited for, because like I was super pumped for Wolverine, and I was super, you know for all these other things, and I think some of it is that now, and even then I was, but now I'm more knowledgeable. I'm even more knowledgeable about comic books and the things I like about them, and mm. you know what I mean, and the history, and so when I see the trailer, I can correspond to the ideas in it whereas before you know wolverine watching wolverine you're like i mean i know wolverine but did i really know striker and could i really tell it was strike you know what i mean all these other little Mm -hmm. things um his like robes gallery and blob and everyone you know what i mean those are cool x-men characters but unless you're fairly knowledgeable that's not going to ring with you and even then depending on how it's done you know what i mean i think this one is done well like i just want to see I just like the the different take on the mutants that they're oh, gonna yeah. use, of course, like magic especially. I, um, yeah, there's. I mean, there's a like I said, there's just so much good with the trailer that it's hard for me to pinpoint. Once we almost have to just run through the whole thing. I just like the, the very start. ending when they all kind of show their powers. That looks I do good. like that too. That's my like favorite. But I like there's there's like oh, I said I just, there's so much about and it. And the horror aspect, is right? Very and awesome. I, I think that is what's my favorite part about it is because even though well, maybe second because the powers are great. Like when I saw Sunspot. That's yeah, probably so it, because it was a good all, sunspot yeah. too. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't great, but it, it was, was good. good. He's it all fit. black. He's all black with like a little red tinge. Yeah, you could see his cool. eyes. Um, like I said, you can tell I'm super excited for this one. I love how they did all the different things for it. Uh, but like I said, I think the horror one really hits for me because they twisted a lot of their uh, origins a little bit in order to like push that horror yeah. motif. You know what I mean? Which is fine. I would, no, I Again, very I much just like want to see. You know, what would be funny is that if this did so well, like, 
What do they do then after that? More, do yeah, they, more horror stuff. Like, do they have to keep going? How do they? Do they keep going with the new mutant stuff now? With right these in this thing, or are they? they? I don't know. I think they're pretty much one and done in this one. I think there's some, yeah. Unless it does well. That's what I say. It, yeah, if it does but really the other well. problem is, and we talked about that, that, or we were talking about that a little bit as well. I gotta go put that uh, back on so we can see. Oh, who's commenting? Yep. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited for it. Um, I'm excited too because supposedly, I mean, I guess the, there's no uh, reshoots in this one. It's supposed to be the original cut from the uh, from when they first did it. I don't, I don't know how true that you know. Right, that could be a, yeah, it could be totally baseless, or it could be 100. percent I mean, true. It, could, it honestly it's, looks it's, like it looked the same. Kind of yeah, the I didn't trailer. see any difference cinematography just... wise. There were scenes from the original trailer yeah uh the wall scene a couple of the others like the that wall scene with the face mm -hmm. maybe looked a little i'd have to go back and look it's uh, the, that's the other thing maybe we should do that in a couple minutes and go back and look at the old trailer because we haven't seen the old trailer in however long yeah, that's the two thing, years though. yeah think about that I know, but like we haven't seen it yeah so now we got to go back and look at it and see what if it does look different now i think it's probably a fair combination of mostly old stuff and maybe like some new what I, what i'm thinking is they didn't do reshoots but they maybe did uh effects edits that'd be fine with me right yeah, there's so nothing wrong so with that and that. honestly they do that all the time had they done that on justice league it might have made a little bit of a difference on the if they did effects like just to fix like you know how sunspot looks yeah or like the face like i'm not against that out. at all because they look amazing now like yeah the arm on magic into the sword I was like I said I was like they didn't sword? show it yet but they, they showed it building to, though about they showed they showed it know, building and that's why I was like I waited for it too on my, my one video you can see they it's just like I'm like us, they yeah. got a sword? because they, they want, want the sword? they want they want like you know the, the regular general audience to be very oh, yeah. surprised too well, like, what the hell is mutant has a giant be, sword and it's also got to be that reveal moment even for us the sword is gonna be oh yeah that's the real question is it gonna be the actual Y hander that she has the two handed huge ass oh man that thing is monstrous we'll see. I'm, I, I love it. Her soul sword has always been one of my favorite parts of Ileana. Um, I mean, her character's great. It's like, I killed 13 men. One I always by liked one. her character. I um, said, I almost want to go watch the trailer again. It's a good trailer. I wanted to uh, read more of some more of her stuff, too. She's got some... The problem is she doesn't really have solo stuff. She's always twined in with yeah. Colossus and her other brother. Uh, well, I wanted Dimitri? to read that run where um, she, I guess... Uh, Got Goblin. taken over by yeah. the the demon, the yeah. Goblin Queen, right? No, oh, no, that one's actually mad. Oh, that she's was... Queen of Limbo. There we go. She's That's Demon Queen. But like, there was um, a she whole becomes thing Hell Child. I want to read that whole. Oh yeah, kind of thing uh, into they it. had a what, they had a whole spinoff in Secret Wars. Yeah, I read that one. That was or maybe the, that was, that was the, the Inferno one. one. Yeah, yeah, that one was a Goblin. They, the... I thought they had two of them though, because they did a bunch of Secret Wars. They did. They had so much Secret Wars. That was, but it might not have been at Secret Wars. It might have been another time, like What If thing, because they do so much. You know, it's it's hard to keep up with all of it. I'm still catching up. I did finally catch up on a couple things like Immortal Hulk and uh, Mortal Hulk. Yeah, I've been kind of caught up on it. It's Thor. Been good. I'm just Thor. kind of mad that, that they, lo first. they lost. Um, uh, I think it was Joe Bennett. Not Joe Bennett, but I forget his name. Um, the artist that was doing the for the Mortal Hulk. He, he, he was. was he's very good. He but, was uh, doing the classic. Uh, the, the, this style. one's okay. This one's alright. He all seems right. like he's doing. I mean, he's only been on for what a couple chapters chapter i want to say two it's only really honestly i don't think he's had that much opportunity either in these last couple chapters to do he did I all like right his, though like, like so you got minotaur. the one the minotaur is fine his, i mean uh, he's got, um, it kind of, kind of has him a little one, beefy but like kind of yeah, fat he's real, at the same time he, he reminds me of brick pin yeah from but not as bad but he's like brick pin. he's just kind of a thick wall of like Miniature. I love the, the and the thing is, it's all about how it's done. So like, obviously, in I got to read that most of it over again because it's starting to kind of go into this new direction. Oh yeah, he's well, it isn't. Is it's like moving into like, it's just moving into the next. Maybe story I arc. think I, you know sometimes it's hard because you know you read so much stuff and then like I think, I think that's I, the I just problem, lose, is I lose a lot track of, track of it. Yeah, I lose a lot of the material. The other I thing though is for me, I'm I'm very much like a, a stop and start guy. So like. I'm, I don't need bookmarks, right? I can uh -huh. read a book and leave it and come back and I can pick up pretty much exactly where I was. Maybe like a page in the other direction back so I can remember exactly, exactly what's mm -hmm. going on. But I've always been really good at being able to like jump out of a story and then jump back into it. Yeah, I can unless, do that. Unless, I'll do that. Unless that, that 
character is done in like multiple versions mm -hmm. like the hulk is done or like any marvel or dc character where there's multiversal versions of them because then i start mixing wires and forgetting where i was or what was going on or too there's just too much stuff did you read the doctor strange book yet the new no one? i haven't it's i haven't read the new good. thor one either like oh and I've heard using... I, they already spoiled everything on in the damn forums for me. Oh, but... I know. I have to. I still have to go read Thor too. I want to. I want to have any ready. I did finish King Thor though, which is really good. I got stuff finished that too. That I one's pretty. Master, the that issue. one's like, four issues, right? Yeah, it's only four issues, but it's because it's the last good. issue was pretty thick. Well, I was like, oh, this has oh, got to be the last one. <laughs> it is. It is. And uh, <laughs> and I will say, I mean, it's Aaron Run. It's Aaron. Uh, Jason. Aaron. Jason Aaron's. Yes. Yeah, so, say Aaron Sims because that's not at all a common person. <laughs> um, but Jason Aaron's that was his last thing. Hoorah! For his it man. is. It's that's his finish. That's the finishing of the arc. Yeah, the which is a King huge Thor arc thing too. Well, it is. But that's what I mean. Is like that whole arc that Jason Aaron did with Gore and the Necroblade, mm -hmm. and it's done now. Supposedly, now we're on a different side arc. Oh man, and they ended it so good. You remember Shadrach? He sounds familiar. What was that, what was that one? The uh, God of like, uh, Knowledge or Librarians or oh, whatever. The ooh, one at the end of the thing. Yeah, yeah, remember yeah, the girls yeah. meet him? He's like, oh, yeah, I'm Shadrach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, he sounds you, familiar. You get to see him again. You get to see Shadrach. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. You'll see. You'll like it. I, I know you will. Uh, there were some other ones. I'm still catching up on a bunch. I got to get finished with Absolute Carnage, but there's so many times. Really? You haven't finished So many times. I had to finish that right So many times. That, that was my Donny Cates. Run I had to finish my Morales so times. I have to finish the dang Hulk times. I finally finished. Yeah, I did all those ones easily. It there's was so uh, War of the times. Realms one that I couldn't do. Which is so ones. funny because for me, they well, but that's because I only went for official stuff. I didn't do like chapter times. I went through the list and it's like, oh, read there's... Captain Marvel? Nah, that ain't dang gosh to do with the War of the Realms. I read the main <laughs> realm, I read the, I read the three side comics. But they were easy, one, because yeah, I waited uh, until they were all done. Well there So I waited until the Punisher one? Yep. That was good, I heard. It is, and that one much, I liked the, I it, liked him when I they will brought him into the World of Rose. He's no, kind it of was a good. badass yeah. whooping some uh, Well I love that I love the that they're uh, shooting them. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like do bullets work on him? His mankind's one enduring achievement. Bullets work on everyone. <laughs> uh but no, it was it was a good thing. Uh I will say that a little bit of there's one part of the new Punisher run that I'm kind of up in the air about. about the Soviet Union one? No, no, no. The, the, the one from one? the one from uh, War of the Realms, the, the Punisher uh, Kill Crew. Or whatever. I finally fin oh, oh, that yeah, one. Yeah, the one that just finished. Um, like last week or two weeks. ago. because yeah, there they have like they had like yeah, like they got three another three Punisher one. things going. Oh, on. all the time. That one, There's the, always the main one they just finished. As long as they're militant douchebags. <laughs> and then they have and the I like one this Punisher and I say that, but yeah, as long as there's militant douches who want to watch people just get executed. Punisher will have two or three comics going down. <laughs> it's fine. I love that. I'm one of those militant douchebags. <laughs> but uh, it, it's definitely one of those things that uh, his, like, the writing on the Punisher is rough sometimes. So, like, for that one, they have him working with the Juggernaut. Oh, okay. You remember for the War of the Realms one? Uh -huh. That's kind of outside his MO, considering the Juggernaut is on that villainous run. Yeah. And now the argument could be made that... The, Juggernaut's like not a general villain in that he doesn't just like yeah, hurt people, he, but he does rob banks. He and does, does. He does. And he does all this stuff. Now I will say, ah, but Xavier's brother, half brother, was right? Half -brother? He is his half brother. The thing about the Juggernaut is he's also been lately on the last couple of years on a good turn. Yeah, he has, which has he never has really been. mattered for Frank though. Yeah, but I will say that his original motivation is not to hurt people, just to hurt his brother. So yeah. that might, I don't know. It was one of those gray areas where I'm like, is the Punisher really going to work with the Juggernaut? I mean, maybe if he has to, but then isn't he going to try to kill him at the end of it? I don't know. It was one of those character morale questions that got in my head that I was like, does he, how does this work? Mm -hmm. Is this good or bad or just meh? <laughs> but it worked enough. I, I enjoyed uh, it. I finished, uh, I wanted to finish reading the uh, uh, Spider-Ham. Oh, did it, how many are they in already? They just did the first issue still. So. Oh, yeah. So I didn't even do the I annual I yet, though. Oh, uh, fair enough. I'm, I don't know. I still got to catch up on the new Spider-Verse run. and uh, You still even got to do this. <laughs> they're even doing the Spider 2099 stuff right I'm, now. Dude, I'm, they, I heard that none of those fucking 2099 bullcrap runs except for Spider-Man tied into anything. 
I heard they were useless. Not really. All it was was just a, a, a it's like a one shot. It feature. introduced these new characters. Like I like the you got to read the Punisher one. The Punisher that one, one I'm sure good. is cool. And I've it was like literally stuff. the Terminator and uh, Punisher and yeah. uh, or sorry, not the the Punisher, the Ghost Rider one. That's what I meant to say. Oh, sorry. It, I did. I'm, I saw a clip from it. Yeah, where it's it was literally like Terminator mixed with the Ghost Rider. It's yeah, I liked it. It was awesome. I, like I said, and he has a chainsaw. <laughs> wait, did they, they already have few Ghost Rider twenty ninety nine though? I, you see, what I was trying to say is I think they're. Tr- what I've heard is that they were trying to kind of re, um, kind of vamp the 2099 right, I, universe. But I and, heard that they haven't done anything with it since, in like two or three weeks. So what's the point? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, there, it's mostly the the main story is supposed to be with the uh, Spider Man and well, I, I don't know. I have to read that. I, I gotta check them thing, all out. Yeah, the, I just heard that there was like minimal tie-in stuff to actual plots going, and then on top of that, they haven't done anything with it. So like. If anything, I feel like it was to reset the qu- status quo of what 2099 Yeah, that's literally all the kind of fun it is. Really, right, but me. I don't care about 2099 if it's not doing something. Like, I liked Spider-Man There's 2099. Still, I mean, the only thing is, is like I know Doom it's hard for them. is the one that kind of... The whole way, the whole thing is that Doom has reshaped the whole 2099 universe. Which is... That's kind of what I was assuming from a lot of the stuff I was seeing, is that there was, like, a change. And, and they needed to anyway because of the way the continuity works. And the fact that we're approaching, mm-hmm. and now that what they're trying to say is now that it really is, whatever affects you know that that is the right because now. That right because it's in the now it's no longer a hundred years later it's like ah that's like fifty years off and yeah it really, is, it really is like it's not it's seventy years you know we're not going to see twenty ninety nine probably but so the, the kids mean, nowadays reading comics who are starting comics will see twenty ninety nine and be like well what the. F- <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how that would. Yeah, uh, I, wonder how that would, I mean, who, I mean, how would even comics? We'll see. I, mean, I would like I said. I, I don't then. know. They did it in the seventies, though. They already did it. You know what I mean? Because originally, remember, they were like, "Oh, well, this is see, the future in 2000 Yeah, maybe not in Marvel. Oh yeah, but because like, they had. Oh well, remember now they're doing that Iron Man. Uh, yeah, see, they're even doing that too now. The Iron Man. Uh, what was it? The twenty twenty now. Yes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's just so much shit going on. <laughs> Dude, it is, and I can't keep up. And I've just also because I've been doing a bunch of other shit on the side. Oh my god. And having to deal with obviously work stuff. And, yeah. But yeah, it, it's definitely one of those ones where I'm like, comics. What the hell? And then DC is just all over the place with its shit. It just I just, I just read their clock. black label stuff. <laughs> That's it. It's like, I was actually liking out. the... Did you read the Wonder Woman one yet? Uh, which one? Uh, Deader? Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, my... Oof. I love the start of that oh, one, dude. I actually was oh. going to do the... I was going to do the breakdown video, oh. but I ran out of time. <laughs> but and now the it's art, too old. The, oh, yeah. oh, the art... Perfect. It's perfect for that shit. that whole the style. style of, yeah, that, of like a dead. Doing. Yeah, it's super like. And then model you just see you just see Batman. Like, you're like, oh shit, Batman. <laughs> yeah, it's like Batman. Batman. <laughs> so it's yeah. where was your prep time? <laughs> you were supposed to be above this. <laughs> you were supposed to be invincible. Invincible. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, that was a good one. No, I like that. I, and then it was a perfect one to do with like that I, that magazine style. So I love reading the that big style of like the really you can yeah just the see open. It. It's good. I like it's it. really cool. Like I said, I like the toning they do. They got kind of the modeled tones for the whole thing because of Dead Earth and the, and but at the same time you've got Wonder Woman being her kind of vibrant Wonder Woman. Like I said, I downloaded and got the actual comic so I could do a breakdown on it. But okay. I just but I ran out of time so now. I might do it, but only if I end up doing the next one in the whole series. Yeah. I think it's only supposed to be th- three. That I could deal then, because then I can just do it all three. It of wasn't them. that much. Because no, uh, they don't do that much. Because I did labels. the well, because you saw we did the Suicide Squad page by page breakdown. Oh yeah, yeah. Which we might continue on that series too, depending. I don't know. It didn't seem too popular or catching, which I didn't think it would be. And it seems like it's going to be a kind of mess series anyway. It did introduce some cool ideas actually, mm-hmm. as far as Suicide Squad goes. But uh, in general, oh man, I just noticed that guy went with ass. It's off, off kilter. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know when it fell, but it fell. Damn. Um, but anyway, yeah, the the it's just about getting the time to break them down and seeing which ones people actually want to watch. I'm also getting the video edits right because the last one was decent, but needed some work. Oh, that's that I was reading that. Uh... I just started. That was number one. Oh yeah, the that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers. Oh, I, fi- I, I finally got to read that. 
Oh, is it? It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. I liked it. I liked the, the art style. was pretty good. I feel like, and it's the case with most of those, with a few exceptions, but the crossovers are always fan service. Yeah. That, Which I mean, is that's fine. Cool. That's what they're meant to be. Yeah. there's. I'm not complaining. That's just... We'll see, like, though. Uh, the He-Man... The He-Man... Well, you know, uh, it does look like it's going to be cool because what it looks like is at the very end, Shredder is trying to... He knows... Well, kind of the way they're doing is that the Power Rangers and the and the turtles are basically in the same universe mm. because even when the power rangers transport you know to tommy because he's actually working with the foot clan now and um they they literally just like they go to new york they don't oh, go wow. anywhere else like so it's they're just trying to say because boom studios because power rangers and teaming i think they're in the same no because idw owns them so I don't know how that works. I don't know. They're just saying anyways, they're in the same universe. It's just and, easier um, to do when you're doing crossover yeah, stuff. And, uh, which was, then you don't have to like, how did they get to this Because it's not like the Justice League and the part. Because remember, that was they were totally in different. Right. And that's what that's usually what they do. They're like, there was a universe dimension shattering. Yeah, this blah, blah, blah. You've like been that, pulled in. Like, or they do the, oh, they actually just always existed in the same and, universe and just never see each other. And then Shredder even kind of knows about the morphing grid and like you can kind of see he's trying to obtain the grid. The grid. So and, he can uh, become and, a ranger. And that's kind of what it's like. That's going to go. I mean, I mean, it sounds interesting. I'd be able, love to check it out. Like I said, I'm, I got so much comics to recheck out. Yeah. And so much other stuff to recheck it's out. There's um that one too I wanted to check out if it was any good the Avengers um ter- uh tarot what are they called tarot ter- 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 like uh you know those tarot cards oh I haven't uh, I haven't seen them yeah that one looks it's like a, I don't know I have to show it to you that one was another one like okay we'll see what I'll this is okay, about no, I just haven't seen it I still have to check out the sneak peek or new preview or whatever uh, although I heard it really wasn't worth all the money that you spent uh the the marvel like preview for the next year or whatever where they're like here's what oh you doing. mean incoming yeah that's it that's uh, a lot of people it. were i guess liking it i they, heard because there's heard that one mysterious now. character that shows up again in there from uh, marvel 1000 that they showed oh i do remember that guy yeah they've been talking about the mask so he's been, yeah. he's gonna be playing an important kind of part i was wondering if they were ever gonna do anything with that guy especially because marvel 1000 was so yeah, out there. It was, I I kind of read a little bit too, and I, I didn't even oh, read the I, whole thing. Was, I did, but I, well, but I just read that one scene it. where they did because I wasn't important. Oh, there was scene a couple was actually. One. The way it's billed is like, uh, is actually not. I can't think of an equivalent, but it's basically like kind of the source of all. Like DC kind of did something similar, but the way they played it wasn't as like tactful mm-hmm. as Marvel here now, like writing into all these different scenarios and how they're like yeah. interconnected with that mask and how it's like it is the one true mask of which I also like because it like lent to like what was it, Side Force? I don't know. There was a bunch of different stuff going on with it and I was super excited to see what they did, but then they just didn't do anything, which I also kind of expected because it was just like this Marvel One Thousand thing, you know what I mean? Which is it's not even a thousand, like why right? Did yeah, they do like, that. They I, should, I, think, I don't know. They should have. I did absolutely. Something. I know why they did it. They absolutely did it because DC had just hit One Thousand on action I and know, Batman. Like, and it's it's like, just such a dumb. It's tacky. It's just tacky. I know. Yeah, she you already came winning. up with your own like title for something better than that. I don't Said, know. Said Mar, or, you know. Uh, I don't know. I guess they're just trying to say like Marvel oh, through Mar- the years. You yeah, know what I mean? See, like, Marvel, a journey. I don't, I don't know. Anything. You know what I mean? They even did the history of the Marvel universe. You could have done that. I didn't even. That. I haven't even started that. I'm only two or three in. I heard it's just a bunch of just all. Of yeah, it's just, anthology. That's so. Uh, I'm like, uh, it, it's consolidation. I'll, just, I'll, read, I'll read that later. But the problem is, no one's gonna pay. Who is it? My, the come. Uh, comics explained did the, the talk on it like it's cool because it's supposed to be consolidating marvel history yeah that's what i've heard yeah but nobody's gonna it's not well publicized and it's not popular or interesting so nobody's gonna pay attention to it going forward they're just gonna make new shit up and ignore all of it <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's the way it is it's comics man that's how it's gonna work and I'm okay I mean, I liked with it, it to because, yeah, like you said, it was just supposed to be explaining how the Marvel universe works. And, well, it's just and after and all the these origin stories, and you get, you know, the universe was created by this being, and that the universe was created by Odin, and the, you know what I mean? You got yeah, because these... then you're like, shit. There's now seven different hells. Now there's Mephisto. Well, hell, and, there's and even like if there's, Odin's hell, yeah. where and hell, hell, yeah, Helheim, and, and also, it, yeah, it's. Uh, 
Yeah. Like those <laughs> ones I'm even okay with as beyond because that concept I was familiar with from Dungeons and Dragons, they do that. Where oh, they have like two different, different hells. hells. Okay. And the way they kind of explain it also in different ways is like layers of hells. You know, you just got like separate areas. Well, I mean they've done that. Or the belief system where it's like, alright, well you believe in this religion, well then you go to that hell. Okay. Because yeah. originally Marvel did just have one hell, and it was hell from Odin. Uh, oh. It was H E L hell. Yeah, that one. Uh, okay. And everybody either went to hell or Valhalla. And you went to Valhalla if you died in honorable combat. Otherwise, you went to hell. Okay. It was like it was it was one of those things. Uh, but then they just introduced the concept of Lady Death. Ooh. Yeah. And then different hells for different people, I guess, or different afterlifes. They, yeah. They're they're yeah. real oogie yeah on that stuff and like i said i was happy too because they were consolidating but i don't think it's gonna stick so it's kind of just like an exorcism and futility well, which is fine uh, i mean i've been i mean the random number 21 was pretty good you I need to guess that's why you need to catch up i do need to catch venom up 20, i mean because i just i've been I loving this venom run that's i think i'm caught up favorite. almost on venom i just have the other episode. did you read the one where stuff. he's supposed to be going to back to the island then yeah. Okay. Read yeah. That. Oh, so you read the part where then you uh, Carnage is now kind of in his mind now messing with him. Yeah. Okay. So I got to the, that. This the other stuff on the Carnage Absolutely. stuff. Like Venom. Yeah. Venom. I'm mostly caught up with. I'm like one chapter. Okay. Behind. Maybe two. But I think because yeah, that was that was good. I like. It. I'm excited for that. The Venom stuff has been pretty good. I will say I thought Absolute Carnage was good, but once again it was one of those things that doesn't have that last long lasting impact. Except for just the Noel thing coming yeah, to destroy <laughs> everyone. But he's not going to say that thing. Right. Why are you not going to say anything, Eddie? You're just going to shut up about the whole thing and tell everyone, oh, he's here now. What are we going to do? <laughs> yeah, but we'll see how that one ends up. My yeah. other thing is uh, they, they, they do weird stuff. So the power stuff, right? So reading Silver Surfer Black puts a lot of stuff in the pers consequential perspective because you're watching him fight Null. Yeah. While Null's wielding the Necro Sword, mm -hmm. and the Silver Surfer's damaged, mm -hmm. and so I was of the opinion prior to that that Null was higher on the scale than Silver Surfer. Yeah, I mean, and so it's just those inconsistencies across writers, and maybe it was in a I don't know, maybe he was weaker back then, or maybe he's stronger now. I don't know. That's weird because Ta Donnie was the one that right, that and he's too. yeah, he did both. And it's just inconsistent, so I don't understand. Now, and don't get me wrong, I put mad respect on the Silver Surfer's name. Like, Silver Surfer trashes Superman, Silver Surfer trashes most of your favorite heroes. I mean, it's a character that maybe they, them two, when never we, really kind of meet until that one instance where I think it's back in right. time. And I think the other thing being is, like, Red, yes. And, I, like and I said, maybe, too, people, this because it's the beginning of his time, and maybe he wasn't as... I'm not sure either. It's really know, rough too because the Silver Surfer was hurt too. Yeah. It, it's a, like I said, it was really rough for me to g grasp the concept. Now, the other thing being, right, inconsistencies. So you have inconsistent, like people are always like, oh, well, this and this. When realistically, like, except for the new Immortal Hulk who's channeling the one below all, Silver Surfer should theoretically always beat the Hulk because he can just come up and gamma drain him. Mm -hmm. But writing, so that's now, boring. Now it's no longer science it is right but magic. even prior to <laughs> even prior to that they it's writing you know what i mean the yeah. silver surfer could come up and deatomize you and just split your atoms into nothing that's within the power of the power cosmic which basically everything is within the power of the power cosmic so it's one of those bullshit all-encompassing powers that makes no sense and is used as a writing plot but i'm just well that's why i, I that's why it's hard to you know when i read the power cosmic you know you look it up you're just like and that's then you very, have different people like Terax, right? So then you have, you know, like, yes, that. it's so <laughs> awkward. And then you, like you said, they have that, like, so when uh, Superior Spider-Man fights Terax recently, you remember? They oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's shit like that. Yeah, I mean, they have yeah, people drain, cosmic, right? Dr. Doom constantly is, like, draining Galactus of the power cosmic. Oh, and yeah, he did him. that with them. He's that's done it on several part. occasions. That's not the first time. That's just the and most recent. And then he recent. even made, he gave that power to his Yes, his Herald. Herald. Well, that one was a uh, false the second issue. Of that yeah, you got to do. But it, 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 it's like I said, it was one of those things where the power cosmic is like scaled to whatever the story needs it to yeah. be. When in reality, the power cosmic just sits right there at the top. Basically, there's there's basically nothing that except for maybe like the side force and the one above all beyond stuff that sits above the power cosmic because it's 
the power cosmic. It's just always been described as the ability to do fucking anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it gets boring reading those characters, so they have to write them either dumb or compassionate, right? So that's always my, been my excuse is the Silver Surfer is a compassionate being. He doesn't that, want to kill anybody, so he doesn't. He doesn't kill but people. He doesn't de-atomize them, even though he absolutely... Well, yeah, they had to kind of write him that way down the line, because at the very beginning, he wasn't like that. <laughs> no, he would just come up and whoosh. Which did make sense of how the Fantastic Four would even... But once again, Power Cosmic, well, then you just get a scientist, and they drain the Power Cosmic, and then you get... <laughs> you know what I mean? It's one of those ones that's very, like, inconsistent to me, so it's hard for me to set those bars, because in my opinion, I would think Noel would be above him because mm-hmm. he would also wield some sort of how did he win that power. in the end again he had to oh he he didn't even necessarily win but the right. fact that he's fighting him yeah okay one you know what i mean and we're sit, sit here with the fact that uh yeah. you know just comparatively now obviously it's not the best comparison but uh you have beings like thanos and odin who are regularly able to fight not consequentially but to fight galactus Mm. Not to do any damage to him or pose him any real harm, but to do that. And so comparison-wise, the Silver Surfer can't do shit to Galactus. Mm-hmm. He's never been able to do jack crap to Galactus, and he has the power cosmic. So, it's, you know, it's one of those ones where Galactus must just have so much power cosmic that it doesn't matter. Or is just immutable, uh, unaffected by mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's so many, like, random different ones are like did you see the one in uh, old man quill the, how they finished that one i still have I'm, I okay and i won't ruin it for I'm it because like i now. saw someone ruined it for it. like i haven't even been reading it which is why i wasn't too like mad when i got to the end and saw the thing but the concept i like and don't like only because like all right it was and the reason it works is it's that you'll read it and we'll talk about it but basically it's just those inconsistencies of like how do you kill someone how do you you know how powerful are they in their cosmology and I'm okay with, like, changing those things, but then you got to give reasons or, you know, this or that. It's like, why is he this powerful? Well, he got a boost or he got mm-hmm. de-amped or he got, you know, uh, enslaved by an ancient Mesopotamian god. <laughs> it happens, man. There's different. But any number of those things where it's, just, like, an explanation would be nice. Because mm-hmm. I want Null to be, like I said, if he's you know the god of symbiotes the god of nothing the darkness all that was before he's basically sounding similar to uh and i don't know why they keep making characters like this but um amatsu mikaboshi the chaos king is very much in that same uh, of nothing of darkness of the rendering and then even before that you have oblivion Mm -hmm. who is the concept of nothing you know what i mean the absence of the multiverse and originally, Matsu Mikaboshi is like an extension of Oblivion. Or at least they say so in one of the comics. Blah, 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 blah. Hercules. <laughs> Chaos War. Gotta love that shenanigan fest. Which was fun. It's a fun comic. But it's definitely full of shenanigans. Um, and I'm just like... So I assume he is strong. You know yeah. what I mean? He also controls a like, race of symbiotes that can affect basically anyone. The other thing we haven't talked about... And I wonder if this might be the solution coming into this. Is what happened? What's up with the poisons? The poisons? Oh yeah. Remember, they're the yeah. natural, the they, natural predators. Um. Well, they 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 never right. You had Thanos no, poison. They had, well, they had and that, had, and then no, they did come back some somewhere. Yeah, but then you didn't like get a resolution. There was no. I forget where they came back though. They did come back in an issue of something like a kid kaiju or some shit. Oh, was that where it was? No, it's something else actually. I I can't remember. But but they showed up again. They do, but they don't get rid of them. You know what I mean? They still exist. And so I'm wondering, is that how they're going to deal with symbiotes? And how does that work? You know what I mean? Like, how do the poisons? One, where do they come from? How do they work? Two, they had that whole thing with carnage, but they did. They actually beat that whole thing with Carnage, which would suggest that the poisons actually override Null's power, because that's what Carnage was rocking before. Mm-hmm. Was he, granted, he has more of it now. Before that, was what he was the apostle or whatever. So I wonder if that stuff's going to tie in. You heard it here. It's predictions: <laughs> poisons kill Null. God of the poisons. Pull. <laughs> it's like I'm not naming department, and this is why I am the naming department. Actually, and this is why we don't get good views. That's like, no but uh i think that would be an interesting concept you know yeah i mean just i mean we'll see where that goes i don't know there's still a lot i have to 
I have to read that incoming still because that's supposed Same. to. Yeah, it's supposed to reveal. Well, of I know that people. what's his name is gonna be playing kind of a big part this year too is um, the Hulkling. I heard he was doing something because they had done some like. Yeah, art they're they're bring, they're doing the uh, scroll the scroll Kree war, uh, war. I which feel is like the, the scroll Imperium. and Kree are just so is that Imperium uh, or is it Imperium just... or Empire? I don't know. Imperium. Ah. Um, Imperium. event that they're cool. doing now it is like imperium would so be cool. he's supposed to play a part in it i mean because he is half uh kree and half uh he's uh, also the scroll, scroll prince oh and he's yeah it's so a scroll prince and he's also is he something else i in, think he's actually a, mm, uh, something else a also kree, kree. prince too yeah or something. he's like or, both yeah he's he's supposed to be like the bridging of the gap between the races well, that yeah, never he's happened supposed and then they, to be like the one that's supposed the prophecy, to connect yeah, yeah. but then, then it they never really through. got into it well, they just dropped happen. it i mean this... well one they introduced it in runaways so yeah. they didn't even know if they were keeping runaways at that time you know what i mean so they never you know what i mean but they were like oh well here's this really cool idea but there's no way they're going to let us make this character change the rest of the Marvel Universe, so we're just going to have to sit on it. So it looks like he's uh, going to play a part this year, though. I'm, I'm I mean, excited they, for it. They do show him with the sword now in his hand. Um, I mean, I really want to see... I, I always thought it was interesting that he was named Hulkling. I don't obviously, like that. Yeah. They said because it was he kind of... There was a reason because he kind of looked like the Hulk a little bit, and so he, he definitely just did. But no, I mean when they, they were talk coming about up it, with names, yeah, and even in the thing, I see it. I'm just I'm like, like figure, really you figure any... at this point. I mean, his boyfriend changes names like every three yeah, chapters. So you figure from at some point, Wiccan to what is it now? Oh, dude, he's at like name four or five now. He was like kid, he was Wiccan, and then he was the Scarlet uh, Warlock or yeah, something, Scarlet. and then he was. Uh, Changed it though again. I don't know. Something else. Uh, I don't remember. I'd have to go look. I I couldn't tell you. I like the character just fine, but uh, he's not. Those my are the only two that didn't really stay with the the Runaways, huh? Um, no. I mean, the other guys moved around a bunch too. You get a, like a roster. Have change. you been reading that one still? Not the new one, no. Oh, I you haven't, haven't been caught up I've in a while. Been reading that one. I want to check it out, it's but I got, I got. I got to catch up on the show too so it was yeah, like they, so they much... brought in now the gaborim's uh children now are were in this now and they mm -hmm. were trying they were like you robbed us of our you know taking over the world somehow i figured how they took took two of them out but one of them ended up oh no no, no what ended up happening the one that uh killed the both his brother and sister um because they kept telling him you know like you can't we can't you know we can't kill for you sacrifice for you and blah blah because right. that was that's what they kept wanting them to do the sacrifice for them so that they can uh take over the world because that was their whole thing oh yeah and um but then yeah that brother ends up killing them and uh it's just him now and he's uh you know he's like always complaining that he's hungry because but he needs like he you know a sacrifice and that thing where we're, <laughs> they keep trying to feed him like just everything and even Gert was like, hey, let me try something. And she's like, here, I sacrificed this chicken egg to you. <laughs> yeah, just it's it's okay. It's pretty good. It's all right. They're doing That's that. Silly. And now they joined the J team. J team? I don't, I don't know if this is an actual team that was in the past. Because they, he's the, what's his name? Victor keeps naming like all these old school superheroes. I'm like, I've never heard of that person. Never heard of this person. I, I'd have to Definitely hear, the, never I'd have heard to this hear the names. It sounds like it's a retcon. I it might be just something they kind of just made up on the spot. Yeah, right no, now. it's it's so definitely would, sounded like I would have to go retro look up if these are real. Like if the J team is really I don't legit. Think the J and, team is legit. I've never because uh, yeah, like not. Victor makes it sound like when you're reading like oh, it's the J team blah, blah, or I don't know. This is you, the Runaways are talking about. Though, I know, yeah, right? I know. That's that like uh, the scroll creep prince that's why i'm like what, what is... okay well it's, it's one of those ones it's, it's not bad though they get uh that. they got some upgrades of some costumes and we'll see it looks like gert's gonna kind of go bad now she's always been kind of like halfway messing because well, they brought her back to life yeah this so one. it was yeah I, I got to that one. Oh, uh, you did okay yeah so i got, got all the way to okay. molly's grandma oh, I think. oh okay so you got around there okay yeah okay. I was like ten or eleven issues in or something. So then that, that was right after, yeah, like right after that. That's when they introduced the children. I've kind of figured they were getting ready for something there because there was a whole like thing behind it. You know what I mean? There were there were signs they were moving into some weird shit. Uh, I just didn't get there because I was reading other yeah. titles. Trying to keep up with DC and Marvel is rough, man. Especially well, me, I do that and I do stuff. all the indies. Yeah, the indies are rough. But you only kind of keep up with Black Label, don't you? 
Uh, I do all the Black Label. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, I keep up with DC in general, so I gotta yeah. read Superman, so Batman, I, But I haven't Wonder read any Woman. of the other Black Labels except that Wonder Woman, and so I haven't even started the Joker one. What? By Jeff Lemire. You haven't started the Joker one? That's great. It's a that's good That's the one. guy who does the Black Camera. He did the yeah. guys, he's doing that one. Yeah, I know. That's why I started it. It's good. It's it, it follows his traditional one man. He does. Uh, what else? I can't remember because it's always Still, it always seems to be writers. They literally had like one or two, three. Or, oh, and I think that was the. That oh, was that it. Yeah, that was the battery. I guess. Oh, it was charged. Over. Well, I we'll guess, see you guys next I mean, time. What time? What time is it anyways? We're doing over an hour anyways, right? Oh, uh, I think we're at forty-two. But oh, well, yeah, it's good pretty enough. good. You can hear us anyways while we say goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys. At least we can hear us this time. So maybe this will be. Episode 96 slash 97, we'll put them together for a full hour. Uh, But uh, yeah, hopefully, remember, check us out on YouTube, y'all. Thank you, and have a good night.